Are you traveling to Turkey? Make sure to add Gaziantep to your itinerary. Famous for its cuisine, Gaziantep is a top gastronomic destination. In fact, Gaziantep's food is so remarkable that it's been recognized by UNESCO. Some sources even call Gaziantep the food capital of the world. In addition to the food scene, you'll find the world's largest mosaic museum, an authentic coppersmith bazaar, a millennia-old castle, and much more. Find out how to make the most of your time here with our video of the top attractions and things to do in Gaziantep. While Cappadocia is famous for its hot air balloons and Istanbul for its blue mosque, the best destination in Turkey for foodies is Gaziantep, which is well known throughout the nation for its baklava and other regional desserts. There are about 200 pastry shops in the city that produce Gaziantep's syrup-drenched treats, and for many visitors, eating these delights is the main focus of their stay. Let's take a look at how the famous baklava is made, which includes pistachios from Gaziantep, which are said to be the best in the world by experts. So, without further ado let's see all the stages to make a baklava. After making the dough, they stretch it with this machine. Then they stretch it individually until making it extra thin, really extra thin. Following, a tray is filled with the base's extremely thin layers. Ghee is occasionally brushed over the layers. Then a milk and semolina mixture is applied. Now is the time for the best pistachio in the world. Cutting the edges. More layers on top. And now, let's cut it. Add additional ghee as well. Ready for the final step, the oven. And don't forget to add syrup. The baklava is swimming in syrup. And that's it, the best baklava in the world is done. The Gaziantep Zugma Mosaic Museum, which has one of the most renowned collections of mosaics in the world, is at the top of the list of its tourist attractions. It's easily accessible by taxi or bus. We walked from Old Town but I would not recommend this during the summer months. The Mosaic Museum is free with a Turkish Museum Pass. The museum, which debuted in 2011, features a collection of mosaics found during the excavation of the nearby archaeological site of Belka Zugma. When it was opened, it was the biggest mosaic museum in the world. These finely crafted mosaics would have originally graced the floors of Zugma's many grand Roman villas. Some of the pieces on display are rightly regarded by experts as among the best surviving examples of Roman mosaic work in the world.
The museum's most famous exhibit is the Gypsy Girl Mosaic, which is dramatically displayed in a separate, darkened room to highlight the small piece's intricate craftwork and artistry. Don't forget to stop by the museum bar for a coffee after your visit is over. You won't be sorry. The castle, which really exceeded our expectations, is another of Gaziantep's favorite locations. Okay, it is nothing compared to the well-preserved castles of European countries, however, it is the best I have seen in Turkey. Gaziantep Castle was originally built by the Hittite kingdoms on a hill that stands high on the surrounding land. While the Hittites built a small observation point it was later expanded into a full castle by the Roman Empire during the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD, it remained this way for generations. During the reign of Emperor Justinianus, it was further expanded to the final size that is known today. As recently as 2000 the castle has been renovated throughout the generations. Now the castle stands as a museum to commemorate heroism and the defense of Gaziantep against French troops that attempted to invade after the fall of the Ottoman Empire. At the entrance to the castle, we find the 14 Martyrs Monument, which was built in memory of 14 children killed by the French soldiers who occupied Antep during the national struggle. Before the castle gates, there are scenic sculptures of soldiers and civilians who were on the front lines in the defense of Gaziantep. On the way up the hill, the small Gaziantep Defense and Heroism Panoramic Museum occupy one of the castle's watchtowers. The exhibits here are dedicated to the locals who defended the city against the French in 1920. At the top, the ruins are extremely sparse, so you're heading up to the top more for the views than for any actual historic remnants. In size, the castle has the shape of an irregular circle with a diameter of 100 meters, and 1,200 meters in width and has 12 towers and bastions. Next, we went to Coppersmith Bazaar, and let me tell you that it was not easy to find it. I had a hard time distinguishing between the General Bazaar and the Coppersmith Bazaar. If they are two distinct entities they blend into each other seamlessly. Walk around the bazaar and watch the craftsmen engraving, welding, hammering, and sharpening copper items. I tried to haggle but was shocked at the relative standardization of many of their prices. Don't worry too much about trying to save money as the prices are reasonable. If you want something to remember Turkey and your budget travel means a Turkish rug is too expensive you can still afford some of these beautifully handcrafted pieces of art. It was nice to see that the goods are produced on site. Unlike other bazaars, like the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, the shopkeepers didn't hassle us as we walked from shop to shop. Before we finish the video, we'd like to share a few images we took while exploring the city. If you're looking for a city that's both cosmopolitan and easy to get around in, Gaziantep is definitely the place for you. With its wide range of restaurants, shops, and attractions, all within easy reach, you're sure to have a great time no matter what you decide to do. It would be very nice if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel, to see more videos about wonderful destinations like this one. Stay healthy and see you soon.